morning. Today is Friday, February 24th, E-Day. I'm Alexa Bastardi. And I'm Zaria Bailey. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for some school announcements. First, oh, happy man. birthday to Daniel Peters. <laughs> On Saturday, March 11th from 12 to 6 p.m., Student Council will be having a March Madness tournament. Sign-ups are happening now. Anyone who is interested about putting a team together, please email student government. For those who believe that they will be conflicted with the SAT exam happening that morning, please email Student Council to inform them so that they can move your game back to a more convenient time. The Spring Sport, the spring sport Permission Form will be filled out by your parent must be sent in now. Also, please check and make sure that the nurse has your updated physical. You can't participate in high school first sports without having the current physical. Mark your calendars. On Sunday, March 12th at 2 p.m., Kennedy Catholic High School has been invited to march in the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Route 6 in Mayapak. So whether you are Irish or not Irish at all, all are welcome to march in the parade and show off some Kennedy pride. If you are interested in marching, please pick up a flyer in the main office today after school or contact parade organizer Mr. Brian O. Bruder. Additional details to follow next week. And now over to This Day in History, Carly. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm Carly Gilmore and this is This Day in History. In 1956, the city of Cleveland invoked a 1931 law that barred people under the age of 18 from dancing in public without an adult guardian. In 1981, Buckingham Palace announced the engagement of Britain's Prince, Prince Charles to Lady Diana Spencer. In 1987, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar of the Los Angeles Lakers got his first three-point shot in the NBA. In 1987, an exploding supernova was discovered. And in 1992, Wayne's World opened in U.S. theaters. That's all for the state history. Back over to the anchors. Thanks, Carly. And in world and local news... A puppy in Istanbul escaped death this month thanks to the innovative work of a crew of teen robotics enthusiasts. The four-month-old canine, identified as a type of livestock guard dog, was stuck down a 230-foot well in Forstead area for about 10 days. Local firefighters and miners worked to free the pup, but they couldn't have pulled off the rescue without the help of the robotics team at an Istanbul high school for science and technology. When the students learned about the little dog's plight, they constructed a robotic arm to assist in lifting the puppy out of the well. That is very good. It I is. love dogs, so. Well, go robotics team. <laughs> the mucky water flooding the section of San Jose in Northern California forced officials on Wednesday to widen the area of mandatory evacuation orders, with about 14,000 people barred from returning to their homes following the rains. San Jose, suffering from major flooding on Tuesday, triggered evacuation orders when Coyote Creek overran its banks, swamping the Rocky Springs neighborhood. Water at some sites engulfed the entire first floor of the residential areas, while in other places it reached the waist high. Officials said that the city has about one million residents that have not seen flooding approach this magnitude since 1997. Wow. All right, well, I'm Alexa Bastardi. And I'm Zaria Bailey. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.